Good afternoon and good evening, whoever you are, wherever you are tuning in, we want to welcome you to our first ever virtual annual AGM. And so we want to thank you for taking the time to connect with us. We want to hear where you are tuning in from. So drop us a message in the chat section below and share with us where you are, who you are, and we'll be happy to connect with you. I also want to inform you, I want to request and let me say require you to get your celebratory glasses ready because we'll be having a toasting time later on to welcome our graduating class. And so to our HCHE, our Helderberg College of Higher Education friends and alumni, we welcome you. At this time, we're going to open our time together in prayer. Hi, welcome to our program today. Please join me as we approach our Lord and Saviour in prayer. 
Almighty Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you because you are a wonderful God. We thank you for the way in which you've led this institution. We praise you, Lord, because it is your institution and you are using it to touch the lives of so many people. We want to ask that you please be with each person who has participated in this program and who will be watching this program. We pray for all the various students um, spread all over the world who have passed through the gates of Haldeberg College of Higher Education. We want to pray for the lecturers, for the staff at various levels, and for the dedication, for their commitment, and their willingness to serve. I pray, Lord, that you will be with the program today and that through this program, your name will be glorified and praised. We praise you, Lord, because you are full of mercy and grace. Your times are always just right. And as we look back over um, this last time period, we can see how tremendously you have worked to sustain, to protect, to heal, and to guide. We thank you for all of these blessings, and we thank you for your continued deliverance and guidance. We ask for your Holy Spirit to guide us, to fill us, give us discernment and wisdom. And we ask for your blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. Our first guest is Pastor Andrew Holes, and he is a alumni of Helderberg College of Higher Education. He graduated in 2012, receiving his degree in theology. Presently, he is serving as a pastor in the Western Cape, and he's also completing his master's in pastoral clinical psychology or care is that is that correct clinical pastoral care okay wonderful yes. did i get your name correct was that perfect that was perfect Oscar. perfect you heard it there well let me let me ask you another question when you look back on your time here at helderberg college what was the most memorable moment for you i was once at a camp meeting before i came to helderberg and the preacher was talking to the young people and he said he used the story in Genesis chapter 24 where Abram sends his servant to go and fetch a wife for his son. And uh, the servant meets the future um, of the nation of Israel at the water well. Mm. And he said, remember to meet at the water well if you want to, to find somebody that uh, you can walk a path with. And he said the water well is somewhere where the, the, the water of life is. Mm. And uh, that would be like a youth group or a church. And I met my wife here on campus. Wonderful. So uh, it was a memory that I uh, cherish forever. Mm. And uh, just recognizing the relationships that were built during my time here is also memorable, considering that you found mentors, you found colleagues, you found friends mm. that still puts value in your life. Wonderful. Still puts meaning in life. That is a wonderful experience. Thank you for sharing that with us. And I don't know during your time, but I know there is a dam now and there is a fountain there as if to emphasize for those who are still single and looking, come to Helderberg College of Higher Education. Pastor Andrew, what, what other ways has uh, Christian education impacted your life? Considering that uh, South Africa has its unique context and Helderberg College is located within that context, um, growing up as an Afrikaans uh, person, um, your exposure in a small town to the multicultural aspect of South Africa was very limited. So it was a beautiful gift that Helderberg gave me mm. in terms and the Christian education that I received here on how to be equipped in order to minister in a multicultural um, environment. And it was so much more clear when I was called and the first time of the first district I served in was East London District. So that's uh, quite a shift from growing up as an Afrikaans, white South African, having to go to a place where I first had to Google, where mm. is East London, mm. <laughs> when I received the call. But recognizing that the exposure, the, the relationships that were built here, the, the beauty of this campus and the people on it, the relationships that were fostered here, equipped me in order to be a minister of the gospel, the good news. 
to all nations, all tribes, all tongues. And that was beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful. We have just 30 seconds together. Let me just ask you a final question. What excites you about the future of Helderberg College, especially in this COVID time? Recognizing that a platform such as this is something new and considering that it would reach so many more alumni mm. that can see what is happening at the college, that can recognize the memories that they still carry of this college and utilize where the Lord has led them in order to plow back into this institution. And I think that excites me yeah. to consider that each person that's watching this has something that they can give to this institution. You're excited. I'm excited. Tell us in the chat section what excites you. Maybe it's in the past, your experience at Helderberg College of Higher Education and what you expect to see. What you would like to see if you are excited as well as uh, Pastor Andrew together with him about the future. Let us know in the chat section right now. A key, important, significant and relevant component at any AGM is our financial report. And so to deliver this, our financial statement, it is Mrs. Jenny Tito de Harris. She is serving as Director of Financial Administration. Let's welcome her now. Everyone, my name is Jenny. I'm the Director of Finance of Helderberg College of Higher Education. It's my privilege to be here today as I will present to you the statements for the Alumni Association. The financial year end is 30 September 2021. So the Alumni Association has done really well, even though COVID has really hit hard our uh, banking system in South Africa. Uh, the interest rate has decreased substantially since 2020, but nevertheless, the banks still gave a generous interest for this year. So I will start with the statement of financial position. The Alumni Association has four bank accounts with NetBank. Three of them are a money market account and one is a saving account. They also have an all mutual unit trust portfolios and all these have given a generous interest of 77,028 rand. The interest is split uh, to different funds, to two funds, specifically the Merit Bursary Fund and the Margaret Nickel Bursary Fund, which I will be presenting later. There is also a small account receivable that is with Halbert College of Higher Education of 3,899. They have accumulated funds still of 100 rand, so that's how they started this account. And the return earnings right now in 2021 is 92,669. We have our general reserves of 509,498. That is made out of the different bursary funds that you can see on the screen. And also we have miscellaneous funds. The bursary funds are mainly um, bursary funds given by different uh, families, the Webster, the Margaret Nicole, uh, the Beer Coroma and F. Thomas Fund, and then as well as the Merit Bursary Fund and the Carrot Bursary Fund. That was um, amounted to 313,281. The miscellaneous funds that is made out of the investment realization, there is also the Life Membership Fund, the Margaret Nickel Fund, Peggy Garnet Memorial Fund, and also they have some project funds that amounts to 186,217. That gives us a total equity of 602,267, which matches with the assets. Moving to the statement of financial performance, uh, there is a small income that has been transferred from the Life Membership Fund as per their policy, 10% of this fund gets transferred every year. So there is a small amount in there and we transfer 130 rand. 
There is other incomes, of course, the investments, as mentioned earlier, the 77,028 is being transferred to the bursary fund, 15% to the merit bursary fund, and 85% to the Margaret Nicole fund. There weren't any expenses as we didn't have the annual SAPA in 2021, and that gives us a surplus for the year of 38,644. Thank you very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful time as we share with all our friends through this uh, platform. The day a man is somewhere proclaiming the good news, winning families to Jesus all around his neighborhood. He tells them that God is able to make their house a home. He wants to win his world for Christ, but he can't do it alone, but each one can reach one. As we follow after Christ, we all can lead one. We can lead one to the Savior. Then together we can tell. Jesus is the way if we each one reach one. The message is unchanging, going into all the world and share the love of Jesus. Far away or door to door You see, just like somebody told you That Jesus loves you so You must tell someone who will tell someone Until the whole world knows For each one can reach one As we follow
That was Deirdre Wehrle Cruz, an alumni of Helderberg College of Higher Education. Thank you, Deirdre, for that beautiful message in song. Our next presentation is coming from a man most of you, if not all of you, are familiar with. You may know him as a trained pastor. You may know him as an experienced and qualified theologian. But did you know that he plays the trumpet and flugelhorn? Dr. Tankiso Lesedi took up the call during a global pandemic to lead our college. And with him steadfast at the helm, he is leading us to higher ground, navigating uh, our way through uncharted waters. We praise God for his acceptance to this role and for his leadership. We're going to hear from him now. Would you welcome Dr. Tankiso Lesedi? Let me take this time to greet everyone who's participating in this program. As you all know, COVID has affected all facets of life. Actually, it has become the point of reference when you are discussing everything, whether you are discussing enrollment at the college, whether you are discussing staffing, whether you are discussing finances, whether you are discussing anything, the COVID-19 has become a point of reference. As a college, we were affected and the but we can praise the Lord that he was able to pull us through. I need to refer to a passage of scripture uh, in the book of Psalms, Psalms chapter 100, uh, verses 3 and 5. Uh, 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 the psalmist says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Give thanks unto him and bless his name. For Jehovah is good, his loving kindness endureth forever and his faithfulness unto all generations. And now also the servant of the Lord has this to say. She says, be thankful for difficulties. And she quotes a passage of scripture that is found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. She, and it reads, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Now she continues to say, this command is an assurance that even the things which appear to be against us will work for our good. And I believe that we, almost all of us, have been affected by difficult uh, situations. But we, are, we gain courage in this passage that even difficult things, things that appear to be difficult or even against us, the courage is those things will work for our good. And this is our experience at Herabe College of Higher Education. Uh, when COVID affected us, the enrollment stood at 361. And a year later, 2021, it had reduced to 261. Our students are participating in uh, what is called ERT, Emergency remote teaching. In other words, we are operating on a virtual platform. Uh, some are using Zoom, some are using Google Meet, some are using Moodle. We use quite a number of uh, platforms to operate or to, to roll out uh, teaching and learning. And it was difficult to move from contact in person and to move into online. But our staff members, our students were ready for, for they, they rose to the occasion. And as we, at the end of the year, 2020, we were able to host a graduation, an open air graduation. And this year, we started in earnest, the, the, the college. And we hope at the end of the year, in the weekend of the 12th of December, 2021, we will also host a graduation. And it is through the graces of the Lord that we are able to do that. And I must say that there were projects that we had embarked on as a college. For instance, there was a college, there, there, was, a, there was a project of building a multi-purpose uh, structure. And we had to suspend that project. But now we started again and we are almost done with that, uh, with that project. Another project was to refurbish the 
fountain at the dam. And that project was funded by someone else, by a donor. And we can, we can report and say that project has been completed. Uh, we embarked on renovating uh, the staff homes, um, uh, Fairview flats, and we have done the first phase of that project. We need to get to embark on the second phase. And again, the media center, our the pride of the college, we have received funding towards buying the equipment. And as soon as our students move back to on campus, we will use the donors funds and buy that media, media center electronic equipment. And there's a big project that we're facing, building of the new men's residence. The old Salisbury house has, uh, it's almost 89 years old. And we, it is old and it, is, it has become difficult to repair it. We are now embarking on a new project of building a men's residence. And we believe that the Lord is going to bless us. That project is big, but we believe that the God is on our side. And as we continue, we will be sharing with you some of the projects that we, we have on campus. Up to now, I think that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Lissedi. Our next guest is also a pastor. He is Pastor Hein von Herstein. Did I get that correct, Pastor? You sounded like a good German. Oh, wonderful. Uh, danke? <laughs> or danke. Danke schön. There you have it. Uh, we want to welcome Pastor Hein. Many of you would be familiar with his face. This year marks 50 years since you came to Helderberg College, and he is currently serving as the Executive Secretary of the Adventist Professional Health and Humanitarian Service. You've served there for 22 years, and we thank you for taking the time to be with us today. Pastor, when you look back at uh, Helderberg College, your time here, what memories stand out the most? Thank you, Ben. You know, to try and combine 50 years of memories into two minutes was almost the impossibility. But if I think back, I think I would like to look at two avenues of my memories, and that is the campus itself, um, the location of the campus, and then the people mm. who we have a lot of memories of. I came here as a farm boy in 1971, um, left the next year and came back as a married student in 1980. We spent on campus almost 20 years, of which 10 years was in the little house opposite the church, which by the way is the oldest house on Helderberg. Um, I think some of the most wonderful years of my life, raising our three children here and being able to enjoy the freedom of Helderberg, a big farm. I labored on this farm. Mm. I plowed these fields. Uh, it was just wonderful, wonderful memories. And then, of course, the people. If I think back, Dr. David Birkenstock, oh, Mr. Oliver Campbell, people that helped shape my life. There were many others. Mm. Um, people that just taught you what is important in life. So we have wonderful, wonderful memories of the people of this campus. Mm. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, Pastor shared with us that he, he plowed the fields, he shaped the land, and, uh, and in turn, the people here shaped your life. Wonderful. Yes. And uh, not only that, you, you, you haven't revealed, you haven't disclosed to our audience that uh, our previous guest is, in fact, your son-in-law. Yes. Um, can, I, can I ask, just between the two of us, yes. there's, there's, no, there's, there's, there's no one else here, uh, did he pay Lobola? Oh, well, they gave us two precious grandchildren. So, yeah, I need to think about it, but I think. I think <laughs> wonderful, so, yes. wonderful. Now, uh, Pastor, what place, if any, does a Christian institution such as Helderberg College have in today's society? Well, Ben, I, you know, Helderberg College is the only Adventist academic institution that we have in South Africa where young people can be trained as pastors, mm. and then there are all the other study fields. I think it's vital. And then, of course, the teachers <clears throat> and the lecturers that are here at Helderberg, from primary school to, to the college, mm. 
Um, David said a wonderful thing in Psalms a few times, actually. He said to the Lord, teach me your ways. Be a teacher to me, some translations say. Mm. And I often wondered after having taught at Helderberg for 13 years, I often wondered, what is the definition of a teacher? And David gives it to us. He says, be my teacher. Show me the ways of mm. life. Guide me in truth. And the wonderful people we have at this, through all the years that we've had at Helderberg, have, has had the opportunity to help shape young people, to show them the paths of life. So, oh yes, mm. to show them that and teach them that academic success is important. Yes. But living significantly is more important. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you so much, Pastor. And for our alumni who are watching, how can they support, apart from financially, of course, how best can they support their alma mater? Well, I want to focus on people again. You know, when we left, my wife and I left the college, uh, <clears throat> we asked each other, what did we miss the most as a married students? And we said, we actually never got to enjoy a good meal in people's homes. Mm. You know the challenges of being a married student, living in a little compartment, just to get out, to have a support system of people who invite you for a good meal, mm. who share in what you are experiencing here at Helderberg. And so eventually we said, how can we make a difference? And so we decided each year for the past 20, 25 years to invite married students from Helderberg for a meal in our home. And we've made such wonderful friends, and we've been blessed abundantly. So people can do that. It works. Wonderful. You heard it here. It works. And I just want to thank you, Pastor, for taking the time to share those wonderful memories with us. And again, we just want to, to share with you, to ask you, to plead with you. Uh, dare I say, uh, let me require and request from you to share your moments in the chat section. For those who have just joined us, allow me to also encourage you to get your celebratory glasses ready and your grape juice to hand. We are going to be toasting the class of 2021 soon. So have that ready um, for those who are, are around the globe. Let us know where you are. We, our hearts go out for you, those who are not in the Western Cape, because uh, we know that you don't have the, the grapes, the, the vineyard, which, uh, which we can uh, enjoy in this location. But it's okay. Get the grape juice that you have and join us for a toast soon. At this time, we want to invite you just to sit back and enjoy this tour of the campus. COVID has meant that, uh, that you may have been limited or restricted to coming to the campus. You may have uh, been uh, far from the campus, but we want you to enjoy this campus experience right now.
Our next guest is Pastor Penny Brink. Now, Pastor Penny has served the Stewardship Ministries Department of the General Conference, but even more than that, Pastor Penny has a heart for stewardship and has a heart for fundraising. She supports our students, and so it's my pleasure, it's my privilege to, to be with you and to, to, to chat with you right now. What, uh, Pastor Penny, do you think are some of the most important lessons that you have learned whilst here at Helderberg College? Well, it was almost 30 years ago, um, so I really had to think hard about that. But I would say that, um, you know, being a struggling student myself, mm. I think it was very important to have support, both financially, emotionally, from all the friends, the wonderful friends I met here, you know who you are, and, and also, you know, just from the teachers and... Um, I think having a support system is vital for success. Mm. And, you know, education psychology would, would tell you the same thing. Mm. Um, so as a community, that's something we should probably give to our students, mm. current students. Yeah. You, you've been so involved in student fundraising. Can you share with us why you believe that to be so important? Well, Ben, it's not just me. Um, the church here at Halderberg um, is also uh, very supportive. They allow us to use their platforms and some of the church members have been very generous and have also joined me on a committee, a small committee, um, and we run the, the fundraising initiative mm. um, that you may have seen. Yes. Um, but other than that, I often felt it was quite amusing that I ended up in stewardship because I feel as though sometimes I have a sign on my head that says, you know, come to me if you need help. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't ask for it, but I can't bear to see or to understand that somebody's struggling and not try to help them. Mm. So I think that's just how it, it happened. Can, can you share with us, and some, of, so some people have, have benefited from that sign, so, so keep it up, don't take it down. Um, can you share with us how our alumni have contributed um, financially to, uh, to the students' lives? Ben, um, with the help of a handful of alumni so far, mm. because the others will be hearing from me. Um, just really a handful. Some sm give smaller amounts regularly, and so a couple have given large, surprisingly large amounts that have helped us um, between the, th the second semester of 2019 and to date, mm. uh, to each semester keep between 10 and 17 students from being deregistered. Um, it mm. comes to about a total of 500,000 rand so far wow. that they've helped us with. And I can't thank them enough. I just w sometimes wonder if each alumni were to do something, you know, just 10 rand a month is a token. Mm. If we add that all together, um, and some people could give more on a regular basis, um, just think what good it could do. Um, I've come to know some of these students and their stories. They sacrifice so much. Mm. Um, they leave their families at home. They, they sell cars. They, um, they come with money for tuition, but they don't even have money for food. Mm. Um, they really feel called to come and have this education and then to go on and serve the Lord. So I really think that anything we can do to help them as alumni uh, would be absolutely wonderful. So prepare to hear further appeals from me. <laughs> and um, we have asked one of them to share his testimony with us. And um, after you've heard um, his story, I believe that you will feel compelled to let me know what you can also do as a fellow alumnus uh, for the current students. I'm from Tlekstop, Northwest, and I was raised by my grandmother. My grandmother has been supporting me um, since high school. And after high school, I just had this passion of wanting to serve God. And just after my, um, the passing of my aunt, well, who was very close to me, that really made me to realize that time is short. And that is when I decided to want to come to the college to come and study theology 
and again, uh, my, my dad was the one that funded me for my first semester. He was not working, my parents, both of them are not working. He didn't have much, but he even sacrificed selling his car, the little that he managed to raise, and he really funded my fees on my first semester. At Haldabek College, we are offered um, Bazari work, and one of them I'm working at the gate. Um, it's usually divided day hours and night shift hours. You know, sometimes we'd want to go home to spend quality time with our families, but because of we want to help ourselves, you know, in contributing for our funds, I would stay behind and work. Well, when I, when I was doing my first year, um, there was a time where I well, didn't know um, what am I going to register with. There was a time I really felt that maybe God does not answer our prayers. But as we prayed, you know, with the brothers, because I'm not the only one, you know, that is going through this situation, we really prayed. And by God's grace, you know, at that very last moment, God came through for us. And I'm so grateful for the contribution that was made by the alumni. Doesn't that story just warm your heart? Um, have a good think about it and, and let me know what you all can do. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Penny. You mentioned that you've heard the stories and, uh, and as alumni, we can positively contribute and even change the story. We love happily ever afters. Mm. And uh, let's see what we can do to help support and contribute to these students' stories. Thank you, Pastor Penny. At this time, we're going to be having a message from Pastor Paco Monquane. Was that correct? Yes. Well, that was, that was fine. Some said it was beautiful, my pronunciation. Others said it was perfect, but just yes. Okay, that's fine. Uh, he is, if you didn't know, a native of Botswana. He served the Botswana Union Conference as youth director for eight years. More importantly for me today is that he is an alumni of Helderberg College. And at this time, we're going to hear a message from him. Dear Helderberg College staff and alumni, it's my singular pleasure today to greet you all in Jesus' name. Thank you for the invitation. I don't consider myself as one who has made it. I am a work in progress. And I know God's grace is also good for you and good for me. By saying this, when we choose to be victims of the grace of God, we can do so much. Thank God that you have been placed at Helderbeck College and that your race and your life and your turner at Helderbeck College was successful. The Helderbeck advantage is a beautiful thing. It teaches us cultural intelligence. In fact, for me, it taught me how to prepare and how to serve in a multicultural setting. The world indeed, has become a global village. This cultural quotient will help you to be relevant to the world. Today's world is volatile. Today's world is uncertain. Today's world is complex. It is also ambiguous. Today, so many things are happening around us, such that sin has become a science and vice has been consecrated as part of religion. I don't know where you stand, when we consider the things that happen around us. But I'd like you to take note of the time. And this is why I want to recite for you Psalms 90 verse 12. What does it say? It says, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. The Kairos and the Kronos are two distinct words that describe the same thing. Kronos is time as we know it. The way years unfold, the way minutes unfold, the way uh, seconds unfold, that's time. And that's chronos. Kairos is what you do in the chronos. So chronos is the quantity. Kairos is the quality of that quantity. What are you doing in the time that God has given you? Days may be numbered or estimated 
in the light of eternity. And this is why the psalmist says, teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Days may seem many, but they are few. Number them wisely. That's my advice to you. The supposition and assumption that we have many days must not lull us or betray us into carelessness. This is why it's important to number the days wisely. Days may seem to go slow, but they really hurry. They move so fast. Today is Monday. Tomorrow is Friday. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow is already Thursday. Today is January. Tomorrow is December. Number your days wisely. Days may seem and feel boring. Who is the problem? Sometimes energy and joy are sucked out of us. What do you do? Number your days wisely. Days may seem to be made of little things. And let me tell you, as I submit with bold alacrity, nothing is little. Everything has a bearing on the future. Character and everything has eternal consequences. Number the days wisely. God yourself in the faith in the prayer of faith and have an expectancy and a hope faith in the unseen hope in a better tomorrow i don't know how your paths will meander i don't know what you will do after this but i want to commend the scriptures uh for you so that you may dig deep into the bible read the word it will give you clarity of thought it will give you purity of mind. It will give you stability of purpose and nobility of character. As you strive for masteries, plan the next five years, the next 10 years, the next 15 years. Will you pursue further studies? Will you seek employment? If you don't get employed, what will you do? Where shall you volunteer? Will you start a business? If you get employed, will you remember those who are struggling at Helderberg College because you've been there, you know what it feels like. You've bought the t-shirt, you know exactly what goes on in the streets of Damascus. You know what goes on in Anniversary House, Anniversary House. You, you know what goes on at Salisbury House. How will you extend the horizons of God's kingdom? How will you be relevant for your community? People today are tired of hearing sermons. They want to see sermons. The world wants to see congruency between our words and department. Be the difference. Apply your heart unto wisdom. Tap on the bountiful resources of God and run your race. A coronation ceremony awaits all of us. What matters is, are you applying your heart unto wisdom? Are you numbering your days? Everything has got eternal significance, eternal consequence. As you leave the, 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 the space that you have occupied over the past four years, as you go out into the world, I charge you by the mercies of God, don't forget where you come from. Don't forget your lecturers. Don't forget the institution. Don't forget other students that you leave behind. Be the change. Do something for them. I wish you God's blessings and I wish you his success. God be with you. Amen. And there is coming a day when no heartache shall come, no more clouds in the sky. No more tears to dim the eye All is peace forevermore On that happy golden shore What a day, a glorious day That will be What a day When my Jesus
to bear No more sickness No more pain No more pining over there Forever I will be With the one who died for me What a day Thank you to one of our alumni, Nathan Dolman. Thank you so much for that moving message in song. Our last guest today is the president of the Alumni Association. She is Iron Kite, and she's also served the college in the marketing department. She was the head of the marketing department of Helderberg College of Higher Education, and it's been 10 years since you graduated, and you can see for yourself, her beaming smile, her pride that she has taken in, in the college. And, and thank you so much for taking the time, Aron, and being with us as I, as I interrogate you <laughs> right now. And so my first question is, it's been 10 years mm -hmm. since you have uh, graduated. How has Helderberg influenced you in those 10 years with regards to your, your career and your life? Oh, Ben, such an interesting question, um, just considering that it's been a whole 10 years mm. since I've studied at Helderberg. But I must say one of the things that I've taken away, it has prepared me with confidence mm. to march into the world. And I think that's been the most beautiful thing, because here at Helderberg, our lecturers instill in us the values and the ability for us to say, I can do this. Mm. I'm equipped to do this. So that has given me the ability to walk into my office, to walk into my career and say, I don't know, but I can learn mm. because I'm mentally equipped. I've got the skill set and I've got the confidence mm. to learn as much as possible. So if I had to pick anything that Helderberg has taught me as a student, it's that I can do it and that there is always an ability to do it because I am equipped. Wonderful. Did you hear what Aron said? She said it's given her confidence. If there's someone that I know is confidence, it is, it is Aron. So uh, Helderberg College has, has really influenced and impacted your life as you have also influenced others. And we praise God for that. Another question, if you don't mind. Mm. If you do mind, I'm still going to ask the question. <laughs> How is the college's education different from other universities? Oh, so many different things, right? Um, for me, one, the smaller classes, 
that means that you can interact with your lecturer mm. in a more interpersonal way. So if you don't understand, it's easier to access your lecturer as opposed mm. to going through your tutorial or through more senior students. Mm. So the accessibility for me is quite quite interesting. And that goes um, with, if you don't mind for me interrupting yeah, of you, course, of course. since you're the last guest, I can interrupt now. <laughs> um, it goes with the, the motto or the mantra that we had last year yeah. um, as lecturers. It was no student left behind. And so those small, yes. those small uh, class yes. numbers, it helps yes. engagement and to make sure that, uh, that no student is, is left behind. And you don't realize as a student just how valuable it is until the day comes that you need that. Mm. So the ability to be able to walk into a lecturer's office and say, you know, sir, ma'am, I don't understand. Please mm. help. And they're able to do that for you. You don't understand necessarily the ability to raise your hand in a classroom, mm. to have the opportunity to speak out and to contribute. So I think that's quite valuable for, for a student at Halderberg. And I must say something else that was strange for me leaving mm. is the prayers at the beginning of a class. So we take that for granted, I mm. think, sometimes, where the meaning and the value of starting a class with prayer, having that worship, that, that introduction to Christ, and in my time here, I studied with students who weren't Adventists, mm. who, some of them who weren't Christians. And the impact that had on their lives was significant. Mm. A simple prayer before the beginning of a class. Wonderful. No, thank you so much for, for sharing that with us and uh, with the virtual um, classes and ERT. There may be a raising of hands um, virtually, but, uh, but you're, still in te you're, you're still attended too and we, and we love that we thank you for sharing that a key word that ron has been sharing is that word values yes. and that is that is an important part of this institution yes. ron can you take us to the the next section so you mentioned something interesting which i love i mean all of this is virtual we get to connect with you at home we get to share stories we get to talk about what Haldberg means to us mm. in a virtual setting and the great thing about virtual is that those who haven't been able to join us have shared with us yes. what Haldberg meant to them and I read a lot of these stories, I watched these videos, and it's so heartwarming just to know that others have experienced, sometimes even more, of what I've experienced. Mm. Such a golden thread through what Halderberg has meant for us. So if you don't mind, I want to take this time to share with you, with our viewers at home, just what Halderberg has meant to some of our alumni who have shared tributes. Mm. So I want to share with you a bit of reading. I'm going to read what they sent to us, and then I'm going to share some videos, just so that everyone can see what Halderberg has meant. I'm listening, some of our I'm alumni. ready. So I wanna start off with our newest, the ones that we're going to be introducing into the Alumni Association this year. Make sure you get your glasses ready <laughs> and your grape <laughs> yes. juice ready. We're going to have a toast, get ready for that. Enrique Barnard, who's a 2021 student, has shared that my time at Halderberg College of Higher Education was very unique. One could say even one of a kind. When I look back at my orientation day, I was very uneasy, yet the bonds I formed will be with me till the day I die. These are ones that I cherish in my heart. I want to take the time to thank each and every one who has helped me in any way possible when it came to my studies, to even help me remain focused. I can't thank you enough. And that really reminds me of what Pastor Penny had said just prior to this, talking about how our alumni have an, an effect mm. in how they support students. What Pastor Hines said was how alumni are able to support students on campus, how alumni are able to support them in cash, in kind, in time, in a plate of food. Mm. So that really just reminds me again of just how important it is for you as our alumni at home to support our students. And here campus. is a student who is looking forward to graduation, but he remembers his orientation. Exactly. So for those four years, uh, perhaps, this has carried him through. He's looked back with fond memories. And, uh, and thank you for thanking uh, those who have contributed. <laughs> um, you, you have another student? I have another student from 2021 as well, JC Van der Poel, who says, my Halderberg experience was made so much better because of Dr. Bomister. She believed in me, and in turn, I believed in myself. Mm. She is one of the best lecturers and truly cared about her students. And I want to thank her for all that she has done for me and that I really appreciate her. Wonderful. It's a beautiful shout out, actually. Definitely, definitely. A real testament. Uh, Dr. Bomister, thank you. Yes, lovely. So the next two that I want to share with you are two graduates, both from 1971. 
And the first one we have is Hendrik Barnard. Mm. And he says, I grew up in Uppington in the Northern Cape. I went to grade 12. And after that, I did my military service in the South African army in Pretoria. But when I returned home, I helped my father on the farm. And we were very poor. There was not enough money for me to study further. Mm. But in April 1968, I was invited to Harshenbos to assist with the preparations of camp meeting. Many of the pastors there recommended that I go and study at Haldeberg College to further my studies. At the end of that camp meeting, I was convinced that this was a thing that I needed to do. Mm. But as always been, the main problem was finances. Mm. When I came back to my parents' home in Uppington, I told my parents, I want to go to Haldeberg College. But the big question, where will the funds come from? My answer to my parents was, the Lord will provide. provide. All right. And that's when the miracles began. When the first semester was over, I was able to go on vacation and I decided to do literature evangelism. Mm -hmm. Our farm was far up from Uppington and I wanted to canvas that side. So after many miracles, the Lord got me there. And after six weeks, I was able to return to Helderberg to continue my studies. I earned enough money to pay for a whole year's tuition and had enough left over for that next year. Hmm. I was very happy to be studying at Haldeberg College. And today I can testify that this was God's plan for my life. All glory to him. Praise his name. Thank you very much, Haldeberg College and staff. Do you know what was so fantastic about that? You, you just sped over. He, he didn't even go into detail, but he said after many miracles. Now I know students are watching. And so uh, there you, you would have after many miracles, you would have your footnote, insert your footnote, and there would be the list of all the, the many miracles um, that God had given. And, and, and isn't this wonderful? You mentioned about the experiences, the stories which, which have been written and have contributed to their life stories. Wonderful. Do you have another story for us? I have the last one. And this one is, is a little bit more special to me because now I'm going to give my age away and maybe her age too. This was my grade three teacher. Okay. So her story of coming to Helderberg and the life she impacted far beyond just her experience. Mm. So this story comes from uh, Beverly Hubert, um, who was Clifford when she was here, a 1971 graduate. Mm. She says, after finishing high school, I set my sights on going to Australia to study nursing, but had to wait until the start of the new school year in September. Sitting at home waiting while my friends went off to college, did not seem very appealing to me. My parents suggested that I go to Helderberg and start the teacher training course. Mm, that sounded much more appealing to me. So that was when I arrived at Helderberg College in January 1969. After the first couple of months, my sights were no longer set on Australia, but firmly fixed on staying at Helderberg. By this time, I had realized that I would probably be a better teacher than a nurse. Mm -hmm. I joined the a cappella choir and I was thriving in my studies, enjoying piano classes and had become very good friends with the bass soloist, Jerry. Okay. And a fun fact, Jerry is our husband today. All right. So next year, they would have been married for 50 years. Beautiful. So like we said, Helderberg is the place if you need to meet a The spouse. water. The, we the, there's something about the water, <laughs> right? Is. As you can see, Helderberg's impact on me has been long lasting. Jerry and I believe that God led me to Helderberg at just the right time for mm. us to meet. He also knew that I was meant to be a teacher, not a nurse. However, Helderberg's impact was more than that. The dedicated Christian educators who lived out their religion took a personal interest in, in me and kept in contact after graduation and have been an ongoing inspiration to me. Also, attending the early morning prayer bands, mm. spiritual emphasis weeks, as well as the Bible and Spirit of Prophecy classes helped me develop a deeper, more meaningful relationship with Jesus. Beautiful. Another long-term impact, which is what most of our guests have said, mm. is the many friendships that have been made at the college through the years. Then there's the setting, the rugged mountain, okay. the dusty contour trails, the fragrant pine forest, the tall blue gums, the pink Watsonia fields, the orange pincushion proteas, the olive grove, the vineyard, the dairy, the Jersey cows and the dam. Mm. Yes, there were cows on the campus back then. Best of all, that spectacular view of Gordon's Bay and the ocean. Mm. But my sights 
cannot stay here. I have set them on a better land, and I look forward to seeing you all there. Oh, yes. That's so beautiful. Thank you, Beverly Huber. Thank you. Thank you so much, Beverly. And there were other alumni who couldn't join us here today who were unable to be part of this occasion, but they've sent us some tribute videos to share what Halderberg has meant to them. And at this time, sit back, relax, and be inspired by what Halderberg has done for these alumni. Dumelan, Ache, Abshe, Sanbonan, Luganjani, Malabuanji. These and many more have now become Helderberg College of Higher Education languages. I remember when I landed on Helderberg campus in 1986 from the then Transkei. I got the circle met the Emma Sattal and the Klasse, but I survived because we created community. Saya manangemi kolo. Silelo takubana, singleti sana, upia impumelelwe. In my class, I had Vaughan Grant, Dion Fori, Andre Richards, Peter Heif and Pitias, just a handful of us. And later we were joined by Gerald Klingbeil and his brother Martin, uh, Jörg Egler, Martin Propsle from Germany. Um, and they started between uh, fourth year and third year, and they finished before we did. Uh, but there are some of the activities that I really enjoyed that created community. And those for me were music, the socials, outreach. I also participated in a work program. I often visited the campus workers overseas. And we had Bible studies and I enjoyed connecting with them. And, and they called me by my clan name, Masang. But every white person on campus, especially the administrators and teachers, had Kosa names. Uh, Mr. Fern Hirden, for example, a business manager, was uh, named uh, Massimini because uh, out of nowhere he would just appear in the fields checking on the workers with his gumboots. So it was really fun. Um, I came back as a lecturer uh, from 2009 to 2015. I appreciated the emphasis on staff development, uh, which had a spin-off in high academic standards for Helderberg. The college had a budget for faculty to go to conferences. I attended some of those conferences. And I advanced from assistant uh, professor to associate professor uh, by the time I, I left. And by that time, I was already uh, also chair of the New Testament Society of Southern Africa, which was a high honor and thanks to Helderberg College of Higher Education for giving me the opportunities uh, to interact with scholars within South Africa and uh, for having that development program. <clears throat> and because of the enriching experience I had at Helderberg, I support Helderberg of higher education with passion. And I recommend it to anyone who would like to go there to study uh, or to teach or to serve in any, any capacity. Hello, this is me, Maureen Ann Weiger, graduated 1961. Well, if you go looking in Anderson, you'll find the class of 1961. And somewhere down in the corner, you'll find me. Yes, I'm Maureen, and I was Weiger then. Now I carried the name of Morov for more than a decade. Oh, five. Is it half a century? But anyway. And if you hear that name, you'll recognize it. Well, that was 60 years ago. Yeah, I've changed slightly, haven't I? But I want to wish you all a blessed blessed 
life ahead. Although I know you are going to face so many more challenges than we ever, ever did. We've been having plain sailing for so long, but Jesus is coming soon. My children have been through Helderberg, and all just because of one little seed planted something like 65 years ago. And I thank the Lord and I praise the Lord for that. Because if it hadn't have been for that, I would never have come to have known the Lord like I have now. Blessings to you all. And I can proudly say, my family are with me in this. Nick and Yolanda, their family. Joe, Simon Hawkins in England. And Michelle's daughter, Allegra. And her son, John Louis. I'm proud of them all. And I know. And I pray that we all will meet at Jesus' feet. Good luck. Hello, Helderberg College alumni. I'm Ivan Blake, graduate of 1971. Today I greet you and I want to honor Helderberg College. That's a place where I learned to know more and more about the love of God for me, received the call to gospel ministry and have been preaching this good news of Jesus for over 50 years now, currently in Fletcher, North Carolina in the United States. May God bless you all in the ministry that you do. Hello. My name is Ron Dupree, and I graduated from Helderberg College in 1974. Since then, I have had the privilege of serving the Lord through the official Seventh Adventist Church in cross-cultural ministry in Korea, Japan, Guam, the USA, Zimbabwe, Peru, and most recently, Bangladesh, in various roles such as pastor, teacher, departmental director, professor, and college president. At present, I'm a full-time district pastor in Kansas, but I also currently serve as a doctoral student advisor at the seminary at Andrews University and as an adjunct professor at the Adventist University of Africa, at the Inter-American Theological Seminary, and at Oakwood University. I chose Helderberg College because it was an Adventist institution of higher learning where I could complete my fourth-year theology diploma. Perhaps one of the things I like most as I look back is the fact that I got to make friends with fellow students, some of whom are still my friends to this day. Moreover, I was blessed to get to know the president at that time, Dr. Arthur Kutsia, who became a mentor of sorts to me and was a positive influence on me. For example, he helped me look at a very major negative issue in a very positive light, a lesson I still treasure and something I pass on to others. Yes, I am glad that I was able to be blessed to study at and graduate from Helderberg College. Isn't it just lovely to hear just what Helderberg College has meant to our alumni? It's a really great time to celebrate exactly what Helderberg has meant. Just the experiences that our alumni have had here. Such a special time. And now, a special time that I've been looking forward to since the day that I graduated. Every year, we would celebrate the honor classes, looking back at the decades, celebrating the classes, the graduates from that specific year within the decade. And now we're celebrating the ones, 31, 41, 51, all the way through to 2011, my class. Sit back and relax as we take you through the decades, celebrating our Helderberg College Honor Year classes. The early to mid 40 years were dominated by World War II. Negative. Roger. And following this war, we had the start of the baby boomer years. Technology advancements during wartime included the jet engine, nuclear fusion, radar, rocket technology, and others. 
later became the starting point for space exploration and improved air travel. So, if you are a graduate during these years and these key events, we salute you and celebrate you. Fifties fashion and the peak of the baby boomer years is what comes to mind when we think of the fifties. Following the end of the Great Depression and then World War II, people wanted to live a normal life, raising a family. Teens found rock and roll music and Elvis graced many people's lives. Although I must say that we must find our grace in Christ, who is the rock of ages, is in this decade where we were introduced to the color TV. So if you are a graduate from this decade of key events, we salute you and celebrate you. The 60s were dominated by the Vietnam War and the civil rights protests. The 60s also saw the assassinations of US President John F. Kennedy and Martin Luther King. And finally ended on a good note when the first man landed on the moon. So, if you are a graduate from this decade of key events, we salute you and celebrate you. The 70s saw massive inflation worldwide, mainly due to the oil crisis in the Middle East. The world population grew to 4 billion. The 1970s saw digital technology for the first time in consumer products, including the first calculator. It's the decade where technology advanced and the range and function of home appliances improved. The Vietnam War ended and the Cold War got colder. So if you are a graduate during this decade, we salute you and celebrate you. The 80s saw the end of the Cold War. It also saw Microsoft, IBM, Intel and Apple begin to have an impact on all our lives as small computers became cheaper and more widespread, including home and business. It's also the decade where famine in Ethiopia brought musicians together to raise money and awareness and the early beginnings of mobile phones. Lady Diana and Prince Charles tied the knot in front of millions around the world and at the end of the decade, the Berlin Wall was torn down. If you graduated during this decade, we salute you and celebrate you. The 90s showed man's worst side as ethnic cleansing could be witnessed in Rwanda and the Balkans. After many years, 
apartheid ended in South Africa and saw Nelson Mandela become president of South Africa. The World Wide Web and the PC grew in leaps and bounds and together with the growth of mobile phones changed our lives forever. We were also introduced to Google as a search engine and our lives have not been the same since. If you are a graduate from this decade, we salute you and celebrate you. In 2001, we experienced the tragic 9-11 terrorist attacks. iTunes was released by Apple. Wikipedia, a free content encyclopedia, went online and changed the way students related to their studies. In 2011, we experienced the deathly underwater tsunami and earthquake, which triggered a nuclear disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. It was also the year that Novak Djokovic won his first Wimbledon title. If you are a graduate from the decade of these key events, we salute you and celebrate you. If you graduated in one of those honor year classes, we celebrate you and we salute you. Now I want to take you back to some more tributes. It's always so amazing just to hear how special Halderberg was, the experiences that people took away from Halderberg, and the way students learned and took what they gathered from Halderberg into their lives. So go with me as we pick up a few more stories from our alumni. Hail Halderberg, our Halderberg, that's the song we sang back then, during my student years at Halderberg College of Higher Education. Mr. President, alumni across the globe, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is with pleasurable alacrity that I reciprocate, participate and celebrate with you in what will go down in history as Halderberg College of Education's first ever online international alumni AGM. Like in Shakespeare's Macbeth, so foul and fair a day I have not seen. Foul because the world is tied with fetters and manacled with chains of the Omnicron variant. Yet it is a fair day because in my mind's eye, I can see flags unfurl and banners float as the gentle breeze blow, a buoyancy of hope. The bond and the band of music is about to play in celebration of the graduation. Mother Helderberg College of Higher Education has yet again birthed more children into this world. So keep walking. My late father, my dad, made it for my graduation at Halderberg College, and what a joyous moment that was. Albeit that, it was during the bliss of my youth that I noticed the glaring and staring and tithical concepts of this world, that I in juxtaposition to peace and prosperity. The world is beleaguered and bedeviled with brutal, vicious, venomous violence and plagued with di diverse diseases. The majority of the human race remain chained to the lowest rung of the economic ladder. 
We watch the poor scratching the empty pot of poverty, while the oceans of wealth lie low and hide in the coffers of corruption. It is as a result of that sad reality that the trumpet of conscience stirred and spurred me to Helderberg College to prepare for battle against oppression, of violence and poverty, which continues to plague the world with diseases. Helderberg College of Higher Education has perpetually impacted my life in three dimensions, academically, physically and spiritually. Looking through the rearview mirror of memory lane, I reminisce the sweet songs we sang in chorus and in symphonic harmony in the boys' and girls' dormitories and at sundry times in the student center. The Sabbath school strolls and casual climbs up the steep, slopey Halderberg mountain does not uh, exceed the day spent in the soccer field where we met our uh, better rivalries. It was at the Helderberg soccer field where some of the scanty spectators would be found cajoling, snooping and drooling while I enjoyed dribbling and scoring. I rushed to my peroration with a tenacious audacity to encourage you to keep walking, advocating the triology which Helderberg College of Higher Education advocates. Logos ethos and pathos. I urge every island and continent, every Romeo and Juliet across the globe, keep the faith and courage while we face the uncertainties of the future. Just keep walking, keep walking because our tired feet will have new strength as we continue our forward stride toward the city of freedom. So keep walking. Helderberg alumni, our guard is marching on. Just keep walking. Good evening, alumni. I'm Paul Wilmot, a 1995 graduate who came to Helderberg as part of the first contingent of people of color into the dormitory at a time when I was unable to obtain a permit to attend a white university. This was a huge opportunity to secure an educational foundation from professors like Drs. Ficker, Stembridge, Hartley, and Mr. Young, that shaped my, shaped my thinking in a way that was to take me through organizations like Ernst & Winnie, yes, you accountants in present will remember that one, Standard Bank, and eventually to Hewlett Packard, where I've been for the past 17 years, serving as an IT service management consultant and trainer. I've been privileged to engage with organizations in multiple industries on every major continent. Earlier this year, I graduated from the seminary at Andrews University with a MA in pastoral ministry as I continue to serve. I guess I should have listened to Dr. Fonsale and Pastor Jap sooner. It's my prayer that Alderbo College will continue to prepare men and women with a passion for service. Hi everyone, Ian Kitney here. My memories of Helderberg, uh, there are so many. Uh, it's incredible memories, incredible friendships made. Uh, the lecturers, the staff, everybody that made the experience so amazing. I remember arriving at the college, knew it at all, uh, full of excitement and wondering what it was going to be like. And it was probably the four best years of my life. Um, I've got friends today still that I met at Helderberg. People that just made the experience so much better. Um, I can also say that even my spiritual life grew on campus. And the memories of that are also ingrained so deeply. Uh, one of the best memories for me, which is not really just a memory, but an experience, is I also met my wife here. Um, she's also got such memories of Helderberg. She went to the preschool, the primary school, the high school, 
and the college and we all graduated together together with Adrian Webster her brother uh, our parents came to Helderberg we have heard all these amazing stories of everything that happened at Helderberg and we're so privileged to be able to be part of that whole experience as well I'm also incredibly grateful to the college that I'm actually working here as well and uh, really enjoying it and hoping that I can play a small part in building the memories of the current and future students as well. Well, Aron, that was a, a quick wardrobe change. Did you did you see that leather jacket? I'm quite impressed. All right, I'm quite yes, impressed. yes, yes. Um, so, 2022. Mm. Are you serving again <laughs> as the president of uh, of the alumni association? They got to make room for some newbies. Okay. They got to make new, room for new faces. In fact, we have selected our new officers to serve. Can I share those with please, you? Please, please do. All right. So, and I prayed really hard, and I think this team is going to be. The team that takes the Alumni Association to the next level. Mm, to higher ground. To the higher ground. So we have our president for 2022 and 2023, who will be Pastor Andrew Gers, mm. who joined us here today. We have the vice president in the next term, Zamafiso so Zepande. And we have our secretary, Amanda Peterson. The treasurer, Joy McKenzie. Okay. And our association officer, Iron Kite. So they did rope you back in. They did. They okay, did. Okay, wonderful. I think once you serve your alma mater, mm. especially Helderberg College, it's very hard to say no to this place. Don't, don't tell me. Uh, tell them. <laughs> <laughs> and I do it because I have such a special place for Helderberg in my heart. Mm. And I think this leads me into something very special. The Alumnus of the Year Award. Mm. Because the Alumnus of the Year is someone who also has Helderberg very close to their hearts. Someone who cherishes what Haldeberg means. Someone who we want to recognize because of their accomplishment mm. in both the professional world and their diligence to Christian education. Mm. Not just this community, but the church as a whole. So it is an honor this year to announce that our alumnus of the year is none other than Dr. Paul Shongwe. Our alumnus of the year I was unable to attend here in person, but he shared this message that I would like to share with you today. Mm -hmm. It is an immense honor and extremely moving experience to be named Helderberg College Institution of Higher Learning Alumnus of the Year 2021. I would have been even more pleased had the ceremony taken place in person at the grounds of this prestigious institution. When I was informed that I had been selected as Alumnus of the Year, news which I was delighted to receive, I could not help but reflect on what this institution means to me in my formative years as an administrator. Thank you also to the nominators, selection committees, the staff alumni and the administrative committee. It is particularly thrilling for me to see so many faces I've interacted with while on this campus, albeit on Zoom. It has been an honor to serve as a council member an administrator and a member of the numerous and various seamless committees that are professionally conducted in the boardroom, classrooms and offices of Haldeberg College. But most pleasing was the interaction and exchange of ideas with gifted administrators, lecturers, students and staff whom I shared the stage with in corridors of this institution who were honorable, gifted and talented in their own right. It is an honor to learn from all of you, and this recognition should be shared equally among all of us. Helderberg College of Higher Education prides itself in preparing both students, faculty, and staff for life in this earthly life and earthly one that is and the eternal one that is fast approaching. This kind of education dispensed here encourages systematic thinking and is geared to enable people to think across the various disciplines and help them to survive their difficult and varied environments wherever they are. Armed with such wholesome education, we can connect vertically with God and still be horizontally relevant with those we live 
and with those we fellowship with. This institution of higher learning has produced students and developed faculty in the how of thinking rather than the one-sided what of thinking. To be versed with the knowledge of varied disciplines and the vast amount of knowledge while zeroing in a particular specialization is certainly what is needed to survive this complex world to become reality in our everyday lives. I was privileged to serve at a time when we had a flurry of students, faculty and staff who came from around 40 plus countries and was greatly enriched by the experiences of people who had traveled the world and who spoke so many foreign languages, connecting us with various embassies and politicians from varied spectrums. The wide range of diverse learning elements acquired here represent many diverse experiences and lifetime cherishable moments. The lessons learned during those times were extremely valuable in terms of my subsequent professional experience. I excelled in the 10 years of plying my trade in the banking world as a result of the grounding and guidance I received right here on this holy ground. I am a better person today, grounded and humane because of my tutelage I received here. Last but not least, there are many definitive leaders and good followers who deck the corridors of many reputable institutions and prestigious government offices around the globe, who trace back their genesis of their intellectual lives and spiritual fortitude at the humble beginnings of this great institution. God bless Haldeba College of Higher Education. Thank you again and again. Amen. And that's our message from our alumnus of the year, mm -hmm. Dr. Paul Shongwe. Congratulations, Dr. Shongwe. Now, as is tradition, we are honoring, and we are honored to welcome the new class um, of alumni, yes. graduating class. And we have our class sponsors, our senior class sponsors, which are Dr. Olivia Bomaster and Mrs. Marie Haynes, and they're going to be introducing to us right now our newest alumni. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Olivia Bomaster, and I am the Faculty Dean for Social Sciences and Education. I'm also one of the class sponsors for the graduating class of 2021. Hi everybody, my name is Marie Haynes and I am the Faculty Dean of Business and I'm also a class sponsor of 2021. It is our happy privilege to introduce the graduates and we are going to be starting with Bachelor of Arts in Communication. The first graduates which we would like to introduce would be Sibengwane Choke Sife Sigli Ntsumalo Nelisa Mfabana, Odidi Sigdutla, Patience Mpofu, Kolekonke Bonga. Next, we have the faculty, um, in, we have the Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. And the first graduate which we would like to introduce over here is Jody Prince. Lorotu Snyman. Then we also have Dumasi Chitsani and Kim Dreyer. Moving on, we also are delighted to introduce Vusi Munu Sikukula. Tata Yone Senyatso. Milbert Moyo. Selenkundele Zamela. Isigle Mkale. Christian Rafoto. Kaloho Mochalefe. Sean Harris, Enrique Barnat, Jared Eislemitz, and Jesse van der Poel. For the Bachelor of Art in Theology, we have the following students. Starting with Terence Kutsia, Songesu Hele, Ayanda Mudanyani, Darren Okais, Zotwa Tishume, Mfilo Mutlongo, Mondi. Matsa Shah Spa Spa Kamiso Dlamini Stefan Maruas Jonathan Tron 
Moving on, we also are delighted to introduce David Nkosi, Sakile Nsumalo, Daniel Gruvier, Robin Thorn, Ian Blatzi, Philip Birch, Alvin Sibanda, Abenati Sogiba, Jabulili Klamini, and Vesel Furi. We are now going to be introducing our graduates coming from Bachelor of Business Administration in Management. First up, we have Obakeng Mafache. Next, we have Catherine Mazuyamo. Then we have Michael Om. Followed by Aaron Setlali Chile. Penyo Sechalile. Bongiwe Machitiani. Poitamela Madalana. Tele Masakele. Mbabandile Made. Angwenani Letsene. Next, we have the Bachelor of Commerce in Accounting. And first up, we have Robin Gilson and Isaac Kaneka. Moving on, we are very, very happy to announce the Bachelor of Education in Foundation Phase students. And we are going to be starting with the first one. Zitile Zlanze. Romelia Barnes. Chloe Joseph. Ilka Davids. Maloney Swartz. Anthea Rana. Shantai Pretorius. And finally, we would like to introduce the students who studied higher certificates in office management. First, we have John D. Wachbord. And then we have Aisha Lotz. And last but not least, Lenae Souls. We would like to welcome all of these graduates into the Alumni Association of Haldeberg College of Higher Education. And we would like to thank you for your continued support even after graduation. Thank you so much. I've been urging you, I've been encouraging you, we have been pleading with you to get your celebratory glasses, pour in that grape juice, in spite of it not being possibly the, the best Western Cape grape juice, uh, get it now, pour it now, we'll give you a moment, that's enough. <laughs> And we just want to raise our glasses at this point. Iron, one wise philosopher once said, life isn't just about how many breaths you take. Hmm. It's about the breaths that take your mo your, the, the moment away. You, you know what I'm saying? No, you've got to do that again. Go do that again. This, isn't, this is an important moment. <sighs> they only graduate once. Okay. So we've got to get it right. Okay. Okay, it's their toast. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. Here we go. All right. By, by the way, I only did that because some, <laughs> someone is still getting the grape juice out of there. That's true. All right. Okay. That's true. It was a, it was a test run. Okay. Test run. I'm ready. I'm ready. We're live, right? We're live. Okay. One wise philosopher once said, Aron, that life isn't about the breaths you take. It's about those moments hmm. that take your breath away. You can hashtag that. So at this time now, I want you to raise your glasses as we celebrate the class of 2021. To you. It was really that good, wasn't it? It really was. Yeah, that's true. Let's do the vote of thanks. Right now, we want to thank our Heavenly Father. Without Him, none of this has been possible. You've heard about the stories and the experiences that have been shared. And we just want to thank God, even in these turbulent times, for protecting us and for leading and directing us. And on behalf of the college, I'd like to extend our gratitude to the alumni and the friends of Haldeba College of Higher Education for their contribution to this Needy Students Fund, to the college projects, 
and for their continued support of the college, whether in cash, in kind, or with their time. Now, you've been communicating with us, and so we want to share with you that on the Facebook page of Helderberg College alumni, there will be a message on how you can contribute, how you can share, how you can give back. So watch out for that post. Right now, we want to encourage you to connect as alumni, to share our love for this institution, to grow the college through our giving. And so right now, shall we end with prayer? Let's end with prayer. Our Father and our God, we want to praise you for your leading, for your guiding, for your directing, for your preserving, for your provision. All of this comes from you. You are the fount of every blessing. And for that, we give you thanks. We thank you for our lecturers. We thank you for our students. We thank you that Helderberg College of Higher Education is more than an academic institution. It is a family and you are the head of this family. May you continue to guide. And we want to pray, Father God, that you would also provide for those who are in need. We praise you, we thank you, we love you, because you have supplied all our needs according to your riches in glory. And for that, we give you thanks. It's in the name of Jesus, our reigning, redeeming, and soon returning Savior, that we have prayed this prayer with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen.